We're back again with some more dyno test results. So this uh, engine here we're going to be taking a look at was a low compression B20 non-VTEC with a P8R cylinder head. Uh, it had a cheapo header on it, a uh, short ram intake, and a 2.5 inch exhaust on 91 fuel for the stock baseline. And that's going to be our graph here on the bottom. And then after we fitted the uh, worked overhead and intake manifold and retuned, the results we got here were on the top. So on the stock baseline pull, it did 140 foot-pounds of torque and 144 horsepower. And as you can see, the, the P8R heads, they have, I think it's the smallest cams from the factory. And right at about, you know, 5,500 RPM, it kind of runs out of steam and then just slowly falls on its face by about 6500 and uh, on these motors they got about 20 pounds of seat pressure for the valve spring stock so you're really not going to be able to spin it much higher than this without the valves floating anyway so when we retuned it the only changes we made was we uh, worked over the cylinder head so we put a competition valve job on it three angle and then we blended the bowls on the head, gasket matched the intake, gasket matched the exhaust, surfaced it, just a, a real minor skim. We didn't try and up the compression or anything. And then we refaced the valves, fitted a Rocket Motorsports uh, HD spring kit to it, as well as a set of the Stage 4 camshafts. And then on the intake manifold side of things, we took a Blox intake manifold, matched it to a 70 millimeter throttle body and matched the flange and did a little cleanup work on the runners but nothing major and so our results on that were uh, we did a hundred and ninety eight horsepower almost a hundred and ninety nine horsepower and the torque here was about just a hair under 150 so after we fitted the new cylinder head and intake manifold, that was the only change we did. We were able to pick up almost 55 horsepower and 20 foot-pounds. 
And so if you look at it here, you know, this is about the area, you know, 6,000 to 6,500 when it kind of just hits that wall because of the small camshafts and the the bowls on these heads have a lot of core shift so you have a lot of area that uh, needs to be opened up in order to get them flowing pretty well you can see this thing really you know 6,000 where it was dying before it just takes off to the moon here you know we were really hoping to get that 200 number but not quite and, you know this was a really a basic build it's the stock low compression short block and you know this car gets daily driven on 91 pump fuel I think you know for the money spent on this type of a swap you really can have a lot of fun with and I think you know we definitely accomplished that goal here with this engine and you know again for the price you really you can't beat it to uh, close it out here uh, final thoughts uh, we can kinda go over uh, the key to making power on this kind of a setup is obviously going to be in the cams and cylinder head. The P8R is really a strong choice for your non-VTEC build simply because it does have the larger valves. They're a 33 millimeter, which is very uh, similar to what the VTEC heads have like a GSR and a B16. And this port area here is where we really concentrate our efforts when we're doing our, our grinding work and smoothing and the transition into the valve job here. These heads do have quite a bit of core shift which means you have a lot of material that protrudes into hit this part of the head. So once you kinda clean that out, open it up and size the bowl and put a good competition valve job on it, when we flow tested these things in the past we've been able to get them to outflow uh, GSR head to about 400 lift and as far as what sort of cams are av available for this thing you know 400 lift is about the the top of the mark as far as what's uh, available there in the aftermarket and I just want to give a shout out to uh, MN Tuning for dynoing this car and giving us some data and uh, Joey for letting us build this project uh, for him and uh, if you guys have any questions at all, I'll post links to all of our social media in the description as well as our, our store. If you have a, a non-VTEC engine, you want to hop up a bit. If you want to do a cylinder head build or you're looking for some cams and some valve springs, I'll drop the info in the description. And thank you for watching.